And here we go, people, with another good episode of Soul Low Leveling. I gotta say, the reception to the show has been very, very mixed. Even though there's a lot of fans for the show right now, you see a lot of people coming out the woodwork saying, oh, this thing is hype. We know the show is hype. And this episode is pretty much solidifying something that I've noticed in the show. They've changed some things. And then specifically on this episode, they've changed a lot of things. I'll give you an overall how I feel about the episode. The animation, honestly, in certain parts, the animation seemed a bit stiff. But I understand why they would want to do something like that. I'm not sure if, if they're actually making it stiff because they can't do it because this is a progression kind of story he's supposed to be trash and sorry he's supposed to be scared and stuff at the very beginning of the story because you see it right here in the first episode like he gets up out of the hospital and he goes down into the subway later on in the episode but that part right there the animation did seem kind of weird for me I it's got to be in a bug because like, uh, i don't know if i like that but like i said originally the show will never live up to my expectations for it whatsoever. There's nothing I could have did with that. So without further ado, let's get on to my breakdown. And boy, oh freaking boy. As soon as the episode starts, you see a little flashback of what actually happened in the Kartanon Temple. And he accepts to become a player. He accepts it and he wakes up in the hospital. As soon as he wakes up in the hospital, you see Wu Jin Chul and this other guy popped up in there and that right there i want to say that is a major difference from the manwa 100 major difference from the manwa what actually have the guy that was with him is another character further down along the line originally that was just some random joe schmo it was a random dude part of the hunter association that it, it literally happens frame by frame jin Wu wakes up he talks to Wu jin chul which is the i'm trying to spoil he's the a rank hunter from an association he's not an s rank or he's a B rank. He's, a, I think he's pretty sure he's an A rank. Wu Jin Chul. That's Shade, Mr. Shades, man. Slick back hair. Cool. Dope guy. He's in the back. He asked Mr. Sung what happened at the temple. Did he undergo a second awakening? But they were mistaken. They were mistaken. He did not go undergo a second awakening. That's what they believe. And then the guy takes up the meter and he registers his strength. Seems like he's short. Seems like he's a regular human. That's what originally happened at the end of this paper. Boom happened at the end but like i was saying that guy that was with him when i do i swear i should have live react to it as soon as i saw that dude i'm like there's no way this motherfucker's here there's there's no way this dude is here i, I saw him i was like bro they planted this seed of this dude being here and now like if that was in the light novel holy crap why didn't they put him in the mom one but either way showing that guy right there let me just keep your eyes on this fool man i was like he, he magumi from freaking jjk just showed up <laughs> pretty much <laughs> like, that's not a spoiler I'm just saying because he looked like Megumi so they leave it's like, alright this is nothing we have we have this like they went to go check to see what happened with the asteroid they found Sung in there unconscious all the other people is either dead there's no there's no treasure there's no you know loot there's nothing back there just Sung on the ground unconscious all the other people just left just gone so they leave, Sun goes to the bed, he sees a message pop up. It's like, oh, you have to do this. You know, you accept that you have some rewards. Your, your message box is here. Then his sister comes in, he sees his sister, his sister's worried about him. They have their little talk, blah, 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 blah. blah. They have their little talk saying, okay, if you don't do this, blah, 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 I'm worried about you. Okay, fine. The Aster, can she see this? So apparently, as of right now, they established that the message that comes up on the screen, only Sung Jin Woo can see them. And no one else can and that's been established throughout the whole story if you okay it's a game that's what we have to do so he sees that oh your strength training is starting oh he opens the message strength training um how do you do it he doesn't know and he said okay if i gotta do this man i ain't doing this i'm in the hospital man fuck this i'm done man goes to sleep right wakes up earthquake happening boom stuff's breaking and stuff around him ground shattering boom forget it goes up you see he's in a desert he's in a desert randomly in some other part of the planet or some other dimension he's in a desert area looking cool majestic she's a scorpion or a millipede or is it millipede or centipede you know it's about comes about the ground he said okay survive for survive for three freaking hours boy's running and he's getting forced since he did he is pretty much a penalty 
He didn't do the 100 sit-ups, the 100, the 100 push-ups, the 10K run. He didn't do none of that. He said, forget it. I'm going to bed. F it. Nah, penalty, bro. Penalty kicked in. Boy ran, survived three hours. He's been missing for a, he's been missing for three to four hours. He's been missing three hours in the hospital. Everyone's sitting looking for him. He's like, he couldn't go out of the hospital. He, he he's here somewhere. He, he he's he's anywhere to be found. Wakes up, survives, back in the hospital, and he figured out, okay, fine, good. But before that, there's one thing I want to touch on. The other people that was in his party, Mr. Sung, he officially lost his arm. He survived. And Ju He, she's traumatized. She didn't want to be a hunter no more. And Sung. He, Mr. Song, he he's not a hunter anymore. He's retired. So, fast forward, Jimu said, "All right, I'm not gonna deal with this penalty no more." So, what what is he gonna do? And that is pretty much he starts training, and that's pretty much the end of Volume One of Solo Leveling, right here. Now, second volume, one the one minor change that they had for Solo Leveling, his outfits. His outfits are different throughout the episode. In the original, in the Manwa, his outfits are more warm ups, but in this, he's like in real athletic gear, which is which is a slight touch. It's not a big thing. This the story and stuff is still going on, still going strong. Oh man, just looking through this. Oh yeah, this is pretty much. Oh no, no, no. just a little bit more. I'm not gonna spoil it. This is the, a little bit right here is what they're into the volume right now. This that little bit. They could have added on to the rest of the episode. So Jim Wu is training right now. He's running and he figured out some things about the system. He completes a quest in the system, like an emergency quest. He gets a reward, but he, he starts getting stat boosts. He, he turns into original game. So he's putting stats here. He's putting all his stuff to strength. But every time he's doing a complete, he gets a bonus. He gets like a bonus. Chance. He gets some gear. He gets some food or it could be something random. So one of the little things that he got for a bonus reward is a buff, like a stat increase or healing himself. So he got heal himself. It's like an insta heal and he can do all this stuff again. So he's 100% he's rejuvenated. That's kind of like a hack, it's pretty dope, it's pretty fire. But one of the bonus chests when he's sitting there eating pops out, hey, cool, he got a key, a random key somewhere from the instance dungeon. So the instance dungeon is pretty much a skeleton key. You go to this area, open the door, you get a, you get like a dungeon. It's, it's pretty much like a rare key for a mission and stuff like that. You see like an MMOs and video games, it's pretty cool. So keep going fast forward. He's doing that when he got the key, you see Juhi, pop up in there she doesn't meet him she's just worried about him. so he goes to the area and right here he goes to the subway this is when he figured out he's in a different dimension when he when he uses that key of that subway he goes through the door shuts behind him, but he sees a woman come through he's literally in another dimension he can't go unless he finds a transporter stone or he defeats the dungeon boss at this one he's feeling himself he put all this stuff towards strings all right i got this he got his dagger he got his gear he goes into that dungeon Man, he was going to the he fought some goblins. Bro, this is some realistic fighting. And both of us in there posted up, dodging, like, oh, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it, man. Come on now. He said, I got to. He said that he kills one goblin. Good. He's sitting there dodging the other ones. He got hit. Dodge. Boom. He said, all right, good. And he eventually takes out all those goblins. Comes to find out. As soon as he killed them goblins, you see a wolf behind him comes up. A wolf with a metal jaw. This thing was vicious, bro. He's sitting there trying to dodge, trying to fight him. He ain't doing nothing. He gets cut in the face. And you see, I think what things like level five or something. I forgot what level it's on. He's sitting there walking around. Thing howls. I'm not gonna tell you what's gonna happen. The, the wolf howls and he's like, all right, I gotta do this. His dagger breaks also. So he's sitting there bare hand, about to knuckle up with this thing. You know how he's gonna get our way out of it. How? Like, come on now. He's knuckling up. How is he going to get away? That, that's, that's a minor spoiler. But anyway, all I'm going to say is this episode was freaking awesome. There, certain instances of the episode is different. He was speaking about his outfits. I, mean, I did like that little Adidas fit that he had on. It was pretty fire, man. So the white t-shirt and the pants and the hoodie. That Adidas fit he got was fire. So I want this episode to come out next week quick. Like this week needs to go by fast because this, this volume is beefy. This is some juicy stuff that happens in this freaking volume. And I assume this stuff's gonna ramp up, like, I don't wanna say fast paced in the anime, because stuff where I want them to stop it on the anime is gonna be different. It's gonna be in a specific part that I was like, okay, before the stuff start ramping, I think they're gonna end it here. And we'll probably get it for a core two. Hopefully, if there's a core two or season two automatically announced, because the show is, is doing amazing numbers right now, or at least the first episode did. It's very highly anticipated, but you know it's gonna be good. For some people, like I say, but for me, I'm a fanboy. I say it's gonna be good. So overall, I give the episode. I want to say for story, lore building. Then again, I'll, I'll give it. 
a high eight low nine again like I, I can't give it a 10 because the cliffhanger pissed me off i really want to see it's like literally the fight ends mid volume like the like the, in the anime the fight ends at, this volume is over and then it starts up they're still going in the fight so that's one gripe that i had but it's good besides a little stiff animation part but i think they did it for a reason because you're supposed to be sorry right here but who knows people all right yo man i can't wait for next week so late. i'll give the episode an eight out of nine or eh, i give the episode a high eight low nine so all right y'all like share subscribe peace for some more gaming and anime content i told y'all soul level is greatness bro uh -huh.